when I was in high school, we had a Respect Life Club, and they would go down on Saturdays and pray the rosary outside of the abortion clinic. It was, um, it was shocking at, at first because I had heard about abortion and we had learned about it, but this was the first time that I actually saw women, usually with their mother or a friend or sometimes um, a man. Something that changed from high school to college was that it started to feel like I was the same age as the women going in. So it was really helpful to be outside of the abortion clinic when somebody who was really familiar with sidewalk counseling was there because you could see how they did it and how they, they would be so loving and kind towards the women going in. When I was 18, we found out that we were pregnant. As far as choices goes, there was nobody else in our lives to present choices. Uh, I didn't know that it was an abortion clinic. I didn't even think beyond the next five seconds. As soon as she said I was pregnant, I said, I'm scared, I don't know what to do. And she said an abortion would be quick and easy and no one would have to find out, but you need to schedule one as soon as possible. So a week later, we aborted our baby. What's really a shame is I believe them when they said it was a clump of cells and no one would get hurt. My child, I never got to hold him. I never really got to carry him very long. My child was gone. I look back to think if only there was somebody in my life that would have told me about other options. You feel like if you weren't there, nobody else would be there. And knowing that you could be there for somebody and they could see you there and they could know that somebody is there for them is something that encouraged me to keep coming back. Well, I was in deep denial. And then one day I felt like I needed to talk to my husband about what I was going through. And, um, all of a sudden, we, um, all of a sudden the floodgates opened up about what happened all those years ago, and I started grieving. And I thought that I was the only one who, who was going through this. There's no mom out there that's lost a child that doesn't have that child deep in their heart. It seems like a lot of the women that are going in feel very alone and unsupported, so having someone there could be a beacon of hope for them. Hey, welcome to the Sidewalk Advocacy videos. I'm Will. I'm Katie. And we're really happy that you're here to watch these videos and to partake in this sidewalk advocacy training with us right alongside you. We know from experience that it can be daunting and intimidating to step out and become a sidewalk advocate. And these videos will provide you with first-hand testimonies of people who have experienced abortion and can tell you about what women might be experiencing as they're walking into an abortion center. And then we're going to get really practical and give you some of the do's and don'ts of sidewalk advocacy so that you can feel comfortable when you take your first step outside of a center. These videos are going to teach you how to encounter a person and to encounter them in a loving way, not just in a mechanical way. Being a prayerful presence outside of an abortion facility is not only essential, but it's effective. And not only affects the world outside of us, but I found that it affected me in a way that I think is changing the culture. If you've already been experienced as a sidewalk advocate, we hope that this video series will provide you with some more information and some more helpful tips for your time outside abortion centers. And if you're new to sidewalk advocacy altogether, we hope this will be a helpful crash course for you that will get you confident and comfortable outside of an abortion center. We encourage you to stick with these videos, to watch them when you can, and to be encouraged that you are saying yes to a mission, that your presence is unrepeatable and will make a difference. If you're thinking about becoming a sidewalk advocate, God will give you the strength that you need to be there and you'll know what to say when the time comes. And uh, so please, I just want to encourage anyone, everybody has something that they can contribute to this. We need to be the angels. <laughs>